Hi, this is Matt from AppWorks, and today's video is going to be about some of the very interesting features that the JSON uh, functions have, especially JSON set element and JSON delete element. Let's dive in. So let's say we have, and I really like to look at these in Data Viewer, um, so a simple script that instantiates a global variable called $$JSON. And we'll use JSON set element to set two lines in here, just type and action like you would use in a logging system, for example. And so if I run that right now, JSON will go from nothing to have something in it. And this is what it looks like. Uh, by the way, there's another really good function we have called JSON format element. And that structures the JSON like this. So it's kind of more readable. It gives you multiple lines for each thing. And if you use dot notation, it puts everything uh, hierarchical. So it's much easier to read. Okay, so if we want to amend it. In FileMaker, normally when you set a variable, um, it blows away what's there before, but the JSON set element function actually has the ability to just append an existing uh, string of JSON. So let's try that. So if we have this one, the script step still uses JSON set element, and we're setting itself, um, and we're um, referring to it here and here in the calculation. And so if I run that, what will happen is the existing JSON just gets appended with that one other line, which is great. It's much, uh, it's, it's very simple to do, and you can easily kind of work with a string of JSON and just keep adding things to it as your script runs. Another thing that we can do is we can easily remove something from it. So if once we're done with one particular aspect of the string as we're running our script, um, we can take the action out. So let's see what that looks like. If I have another line of code here called JSON delete element, this uses a different command, JSON delete element, which only has to have the name. It doesn't have to have the data. And so if I run this one, it'll take that one bit of data out. So action is now gone. Um, and then if I go back to the very first one again, JSON set. Now notice this one here doesn't actually refer to JSON twice. So here it's, it's not referring to an existing JSON string. It's only uh, referring to nothing. So if I run that one, it's going to basically reset it to the initial state. So that's basically it. These um, commands, uh, the two commands, JSON set element and JSON delete element and format element, um, very, very powerful, very useful in FileMaker. And we uh, hope to show you more as time goes on. Thanks very much for your time today.